The Prime Minister heads to a NATO summit in Lisbon later this week. Afghanistan will be high on the agenda with details expected about what Canadian soldiers will be doing after 2011. But Afghanistan isn't the only issue that will make news. Russia will, too. Our senior correspondent, Terry Malevsky, is here to explain why. Terry. Well, Peter, NATO, of course, was set up to fight the Russians. And yet today, it is set to welcome Russia as a strategic ally, which is remarkable enough and even more so in view of the criminality that pervades the Russian government. This is just one of many grim stories of today's Russia. CBC News has exclusive access to this new documentary on the death of Sergei Magnitsky, a Russian lawyer who exposed a massive fraud by government officials. He was arrested by the police who he had testified against, um, put into prison and tortured to death over a one-year period. Bill Browder was the biggest foreign investor in Russia until he was booted out of the country after discovering the largest tax fraud in Russian history. The tax police had used his company to swindle the Russian state out of $230 million. Browder hired Sergei Magnitsky to unravel the fraud, and Magnitsky testified. But in retaliation, he was jailed in appalling conditions until he got sick and was then denied medical attention until he died. His family was kept away, no autopsy was allowed, and the suspects were promoted, even honored, by the state. Magnitsky's friends say Western politicians must be careful about their new Russian friends. There is no, no, no shared values when you have institutionalized corruption at the highest level in government, where you have young lawyers plucked out of their homes and tortured to death in prison. Tomorrow, the Magnitsky documentary is to be released and shown in Western legislatures, including the U.S., Britain, and Canada. It's a campaign to hold the Russian government to account. Erwin Kotler is leading the effort here. But it can't be business as usual uh, with Russia. So long as there is this pervasive uh, uh, culture of corruption, but more importantly, this culture of impunity. And that impunity continues, even though Russian President Dmitry Medvedev did call an investigation. Just today, it named Magnitsky as a suspect in the crime which he exposed, which his friends call absurd. Even so, President Medvedev will be welcomed later this week as a valued friend of the Western alliance. Peter. Terry's in Ottawa tonight. Thanks, Terry.